good evening everyone. So there's a lot of fire which is happening for uh, municipal repairs. I'll be talking on the ramp repairs. So hopefully all these fire, ch fire ch chat sessions will help you uh, in preparing the municipal. So ramp is nothing but a uh, longitudinal tear at the municipal capsular junction of posterior hormone. So it's a pretty clear if you look at it. It is very important that you have an intercondylar notch view uh, to have a look at a ramp region also through a diagnostic arthroscopy. Uh, so coming on to the case directly, uh, this is a 26 year old club level uh, cricketer. He's a right handed uh, bowling all rounder. He had a jump, in, uh, jump landing injury to his right knee at around six months. He complained of instability and pain and he was unable to participate at the same level in the sports. There are no co comorbidities. So he weighs around 86.5 kilograms and his BMI is slightly on the higher side because of the uh, practice now. So his physical examination uh, revealed uh, normal alignment. As a rule, we always examine a normal side first. That was his left side. Uh, so that we can compare all the stable uh, stable uh, stability tests to the normal side. So uh, on his right side, uh, this is the left side. I'll just go through this quickly. On his right side, the uh, Lachman's was positive. Uh, there was a slight medial joint line tenderness. Posterior draw was negative. Uh, so he was an awake. Uh, we can see anterior drawer is two plus. And in awake patient, again, pivot shift was positive. So uh, he, these were his axes, which were almost normal. On MRI, if we uh, look at a closer look, uh, this is a lesion which should not be missed. There was no ACL. So the diagnosis was an ACL deficient knee with a medial meniscus, uh, probably a ramp lesion. So you should have a high index of suspicion for this lesion. The plan was to do an arthroscopic uh, ACL reconstruction with a medial meniscus repair. Uh, so these are the intraoperative videos. So step one is to do a standard diagnostic arthroscopy and go into the posterior medial compartment and have a look at the ramp. Once you extend it, you can clearly see this uh, meniscal capsular separation. You can probe it and look at the stability of this lesion. So this was coming way apart. So it's an unstable lesion which should be repaired. Uh, then comes the step two, which is establishing the portal. And then the same time we can do a needle test to move the capsule behind and look for the separation. Uh, so we make a stab, uh, posterior medial portal with a stab knife. I don't use cannulas. Normally, generally, it's described with the cannulas. We, uh, so sometimes if we don't have it in our, uh, in our kitty, we can do it without uh, cannula also. We can make a good, generous posterior medial uh, rent in a capsule. So that's how we make a posterior medial portal. Now, to repair this, we can use a normal suture lasso, but at times it's very difficult to get the passes in both the capsule and meniscus from the posterior medial portal. So we come from anterior with a 18 gauge spinal needle with a prolin in, in, into it and pass it from the menisci to the capsule. A suture retriever will hold the prolin and needle will be pulled back. And then comes, uh, we have to uh, pull the prolin from the anterior portal to the posterior medial portal. Then we have to shuttle uh, to uh, ultra high molecular polyethylene. The important step is to have two knots before passing this uh, 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 thread so that it can have a easier shuttling to the meniscus. So uh, as there are no cannula, we have to make a virtual cannula <coughs> and then do the knots. You can use a bigger, bigger knot pusher or, or a smaller one, whatever uh, you have it with you. And then do the simple uh, knots. <coughs> so this is after knot cutting. And then you again assess the stability of the repair. You can put in your probe. Your probe doesn't dive, dives in. And you have a stable repaired ramp, which has been repaired. So the other procedures, like uh, ACL is reconstructed. Uh, the rehab in meniscus repair and ACL is dictated by a meniscus repair. So uh, patient wear a post-op brace for three weeks. 
and uh, uh, there is non weight bearing and extension for three weeks, but uh, we start range of movement, heel drags to 60 degrees till three weeks, and for next three weeks is partial weight bearing, so full weight bearing at end of six weeks, uh, and the flexion has to be uh, increased gradually, and the phase two of the rehab start at six weeks as per the ACL uh, rehab protocol. So this is a nine month uh, follow up, he is back to his cricket practice, and will be back to his uh, club level cricket again. So to summarize, uh, we should have a high index of suspicion whenever we are uh, dealing with all these patients. Whenever you uh, get two plus or a three pivot, look for a root, uh, lateral meniscus root or a RAM. And always uh, do a diagnostic scope in the posterior medial compart compartment, never uh, leave it alone. And there are different techniques to, techniques to skin a cat. So you can follow this technique or the other, uh, there are various techniques. So what, whatever you are handy, uh, you feel uh, comfortable at. So ramp region will be looking at you, but uh, you should try to look at it because it will be too late if you miss it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.